This video is for groups that are looking for information about becoming a member of Quilting Hub. We discuss the benefits, give a quick demo, and give a few useful listing tips. So let's get started. Our mission is to be the one centralized database where everyone can accurately find all quilting information in the way that quilters want it, and to help the industry grow. Quilters want accurate listings, accurate events, and more ways to find those listings and events. We've been in operation since 2010, we've been the most used source since 2013, and we're the most accurate and most trusted. Here are just a few of the key benefits to having a member page on Quilting Hub. You get to customize your listing to get noticed. There is a last verified date for accuracy. More ways to find your group, meetings, and quilt shows. There's an easy three-click sharing by your members. Enhanced quilt show events for high exposure description, logo, photos, and most of all, it's free for all nonprofits. The problem with all the other quilt group sources is that they are out of date. The solution is the last verified date. Anyone can click this yes button. This increases the number of visitors to you. Quilters find your group on one of our many lists by regions, on local maps as depicted on the top right, or by your events such as meetings and quilt shows as depicted on the bottom right. When it comes time for them to find you by your events, they can use our various lists, maps, and the very popular trip planner, which displays a map of all shows along a travel route, as depicted on the bottom right. Events you may post are meetings, classes, quilt shows, retreats, call for quilts, call for charity, and more. We all know social media is the future of marketing. With three clicks from your listing, quilters can be sharing on social media with this pre-filled sharing comment. The enhanced quilt show support is very powerful. Booth participants may hook to your event. The event will display the booth participants as depicted on the top right. The event appears on their calendars as well as depicted on the bottom right. This multiplies your visibility for each booth you have connected to the event. This is a huge publicity opportunity for your show. The best way to show you your group on Quilting Hub is to show you what a listing looks like when you have admin access to it. Let's say your group is Peacemakers Quilt Guild in Corsicana, Texas. On the home page of Quilting Hub, we can use the Search Wizard app, click the Search by Name, and begin typing Corsicana. Here we see the Guild and two of their events. Let's click the Guild. When you have admin access, you will see additional menu items like the red page completion guide button and the admin commands. They contain almost everything you need there. Everything else in the listing has pencils next to them. All you have to do is click the pencil and update it. On this listing, we see a logo, the name of the group, and the regular meeting address. This is what shows up on the map, so you do not want a post office box here. Most groups do not have a phone number. This listing was verified 23 days ago, and anyone can click the Yes button to verify it. We have the number of members, annual membership fee, and a short description. This example description is probably the best to use for your group. It reads, we have national and local speakers, and we're involved in Charity A, Charity B, Charity C, and many more. Below, we find the upcoming events including the next show and the regular meeting. You should enter both of these if they apply to your group. Adding an event is easy as clicking the green Add an Event button. Editing an event is done by clicking the pencil. To the right, we see images. I highly recommend images, but ask you to avoid beautiful quilts as they may scare away potential members. However, you can show the same quilt being given to a charity recipient. Now that we've seen what a listing looks like, let's look at the ways to find your group and your events. We will use the search wizard on the home page. Let's start with the name search. We click by name and type in Corsicana. We see the guild, the show, and the regular meetings. If instead we type in Peace Corsicana, we see the guild and the show. Let's click the guild and we see the guild detail page. Now we go back and click the show, and we see the show event detail page. Let me show you how to add a group. 
on almost every page you see a green add or suggest a listing. I'm going to click this one on the bottom of the page. If you're not logged in, it will ask you to log in or register. If you have an account, enter your email and password. If you used Facebook to register, simply click the login with Facebook. If you're not yet registered, click register and either use the register with Facebook or enter your email address, name, and the rest of the information and click register. Do not use a generic email for your group. It will only confuse you and everyone else. Multiple people can have admin access to your page, so there's no need for a generic account. Once you have logged in, it will take you to the ad page. Click me, select guild if you meet regularly, guild network if your group is a collection of guilds, select association if you meet yearly or not at all, enter a Facebook address if you have one, this will fill in everything else for you, enter your group's name, website if you have one, your primary meeting address, not your group's mailing address, most of you can skip your phone number. Enter the security code and then click the green yes claim. After this, it will guide you through the rest of the process. Here are some listing tips to give you the best experience. Please register as yourself, not a generic email for your group. Multiple people will have access and you will only confuse everyone if you do not register as yourself. Give multiple people admin access to the group page consisting of both board and non-board members. Enter your group description as something like this. We have national and local speakers. We are involved in Charity A, Charity B, Charity C, and many more. Add at least two events to your calendar, your regular meetings and your next show. You can add other events like your call for quilts or charity if applicable. Add your photos and a square logo. Keep in mind photos of beautiful quilts may scare away future members, but giving the same quilt to a veteran will pull them in. Our website is leading the way in technology and marketing. Not every step will be easy for everyone. If you need help, please contact us for anything. We are here to serve you.